Hello everybody. In this Swift programming tutorial, we're going to go over how to add thousand separators to your large numbers. First things first, when you create your numbers, one thing you can do to make them more readable is to put underscores where your thousand separator characters would normally go. So for example, normally where these underscores are, you might see commas. Okay, so we've put underscores where the thousand separator characters would go and you can easily see that this number is one million. You can also use that number just as you would normally, meaning that it's not a string. You can actually perform operations with it. So let's add a number to that. And let's go ahead and run it. And you can see we get our result down here in the console. Now, if you want to add thousand separators to one number, one way you can do that is to use the number formatter. So we've created our instance here with the variable formatter. Then go ahead and use your variable formatter dot number style and set that equal to decimal. If you would like another type of number style, such as currency, you can do that as well. Then to display that number with the thousand separator, we're going to put this inside of a print. We're going to access formatter dot string for our number. And here's our number. And we're going to use an exclamation to force unwrap in this case. So let's go ahead and run it. And you can see we get our number down here in the console with the thousand separator. Now that's one way you could display your number with the thousand separator, but in this case, that's just one number. If you wanted to be able to add this to any number, or in this example, any double type number, then you can use an extension. Okay, so to create our extension, we use the keyword or reserved word extension. We're going to extend the type double, then we're gonna use a function. We're gonna call it thousands. It will return a type string. Just like we've done up here, we're going to go ahead and create our instance of the number formatter. We've assigned that to formatter. Then we use formatter.number style equals decimal. We'll show you what this does here in just a second. And since we said we need to return a string, we return formatter.string for self. The self will refer to any double type number instance that we use this function with. Okay? Here we've used the double question mark syntax to provide default values to handle optionals. And our default value in this case is just going to be an empty string. Now, to use your double extension, you can just put in your number. Again, we're using this variable with the number 1 million dot thousands, okay? And that's what we named the function in the extension. So let's go ahead and run it. And this print here gives us our number down in the console with the thousands separator. Now, one thing to point out, since we extended the type double, if you use a number like this, you're going to get an error. So make sure that you either set that like this, or if you don't put in the type, put in a dot zero so it can infer the type. Okay, now our last example, you can actually just put in your number as is, and then a dot zero so it knows it's a double, then use a dot, and access the thousands in the double extension. Let's run it. And you can see we get the expected result. Let's go over one more quick example. And in this example, we wanna show you how you could use an extension to add thousands separators to your numbers in an iOS project. This is a very simple example. And this is just one way you could do it. I'm sure there are many other ways. So the first thing you wanna do Let's go ahead and add in your extension. This is basically identical to the code we just went over for our double extension. 
Now here on our storyboard, we have added a text field, a button, and a label. We want to be able to put in a number here, click our button, and then return that number with the thousand separators displayed. So we've gone ahead and hooked up all of these objects to our code. You can see them here. Inside of our button, we're going to put our code that will allow us to use our double extension thousands function. Okay, so we use an if let. Now here's the syntax that we used to access our thousands function from the double extension. Then we want to use our text label dot text and go ahead and assign that variable if it's available. Now if you're curious about if let and optionals, please feel free to check out my tutorial on optionals. If our text field is blank, we're going to display a message that says enter a number. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, the first thing we want to do is test what happens if we hit the button when this is blank. And we get our message, enter a number. Now, let's go ahead and put in our number. So we put in 1000, we hit the button, and you can see we get our 1000 separator. We can continue to add zeros to this. Hit the button again. And everything looks good. Let's go over one more part regarding our double extension to add in the thousand separator. If instead of commas you would like some other type of character, you can use formatter.grouping separator. So in this case, we have put in an underscore. Let's go ahead and run it. And you can see we get our underscores. If instead you would just like a period or a dot, you could do that. You can see the results for that. Or you could just put in a space. Okay. That's all we have for this tutorial. We will be doing many more Swift tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.